gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Striker. My name is Luba. Now in this video today, we're going to talk about five traits that younger women actually look for in older men. And believe it or no, money is not on this list. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video. Okay, so the first one on the list is something that we call proof of concept. And it's a good chance that you already have this. So what this is, is that uh, as opposed to say younger guys, younger guys, uh, they're, 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 they're in, in the making, right? They have dreams, they have aspirations, they can talk a lot of, I guess, talk a lot of shit. I'm not saying that they're um, making this stuff up, but there is no proof to what they're saying. Maybe they'll achieve these big goals and these big aspirations, or maybe they won't. For a woman to look at an older man who already has done those things, he has been through life. You know, he started businesses, he drives nice cars perhaps, he's what we would call like a well-established uh, well established man. For a woman, this is extremely attractive. She knows exactly what it is that she's going to be getting herself into. There's no um, um, second guessing the man that she is with because the man has already been there and he's already done this. We call this proof of concept because it's already been done and tested. And for a woman, a younger woman, this is extremely attractive. Second one is certainty, I guess. What do you think? Yeah. It's on. <laughs> I wasn't sure then. Oh, I wasn't certain. Second one is certainty. I guess it is. What do you think? Yeah, I'm certain of that. It's like something that <laughs> it's something that you would have because of the life experience. So the older guys usually have it and the younger guys don't. So this is something that is also very attractive for the woman because unfortunately ladies in general they don't know what they want, how they want, when they want and etc. But if you can make the final decision which restaurants you're going to go today, it's going to be really the good one. Yeah, you know, we, we talk a lot about, uh, you know, taking a leadership role, the masculine role in a, in a relationship. You know, when it comes to older guys, that, that leadership role is almost naturally assumed, right? Because he is older, right? He is more mature. He does have more experience. He's probably been through a, like a, a lot more experiences, let's say it that way, uh, which has been able to refine him in order to have, be, have more certain decisions, take a more direct approach and a more direct role without worrying too much about some of the other stuff that maybe, you know, that you worry about when you are younger. I think that you as an older man, when you meet a younger lady that have some level of attraction to you, it can go either way. Would you agree? Yeah, like again, it's like there's the assumption that you know, that you have your shit together. It's an assumption that is made. Right, so you're already sort of on a, a little bit of a front foot here, but it's very easy for that to be taken away by being awkward, being uncertain, not knowing what you want, uh, and not come across as this like what she perceives you to be in her own mind. So you could quite easily go from like strong, assertive, well established man to like a weird, awkward, kind of creepy dude, you know, and she will test you on these things if she is interested. Definitely. Well, number three is non reactive. So, older guys tend to be a little bit less reactive than what younger guys um, are. Or, the assumption is, is that they should be, right? And if you are an older guy and you do have a younger lady that is interested in you, one thing for sure, right, is that she will shit test you faster and harder than a younger guy. You know, younger guys, they, they tend to get triggered quite easily. You know, I know I used to be a younger guy uh, once. Uh, or twice, and they tend to be a little more insecure, so it's easy like for them to fail shit tests, right? And we're not going to talk too much about shit tests in this video here because it's a whole other video, a bunch of videos to try and understand what's actually going on with them. But uh, older guys seem to be able to compose themselves a little bit more if they're sure of themselves, if they're well established, they have proof of concept than what the younger guys do. And the woman needs to test him fast and hard at the start of the reaction uh, of, the, of, the, of the interaction to see what his reaction is going to be she may say something that uh, that's a direct attack on his age something along the lines of she may even just ask him outright uh, how old are you something like that to see how he would react you know some guys um, some guys who older guys who may be a little bit insecure uh, that you know maybe not so well established they may come back with something like well you know I'm 54 years old, but I'm, I look good for my age, or I'm, you know, I'm they're fit. They're trying to justify themselves. They're, tr they're trying to justify themselves, right? And this is part of the shit test that she's going to run, is that if he starts justifying himself to her, for her this doesn't feel right, okay? So if she's grown up her whole life and she understands that when it comes to older people that she's met, you know, not, well, let's say older men that she has met, teachers, her father, 
she's the one that has to respect them okay she has to justify herself to them when the table gets flipped and all of a sudden he's justifying himself to her it doesn't feel right so if you are an older guy and you are justifying yourself uh, to her she's going to lose attraction to you really really fast okay so being able to understand those shit tests and pass them because she, believe it or not she's only going to give you these shit tests if she's interested in you some in some way she has some level of attraction she's curious about you she wants to test to see how you're going to react well i agree completely because as being a matchmaker i can definitely say that when the lady likes the guy unfortunately she become a little bit like i don't know she tried to pinch him she tried to tease him she tried to ask she tries like to some, push him off his off his point of origin yeah she tried to to like uh, get some provocative questions and sometimes it's like it's to be honest not always nice but it depends like if the guy can really hold the frame and like be serious about that not reactive and just answer the question you know in a funny way rather than like be nervous be stressed about that get mad yeah. about this or like get offended like definitely these qualities when the guy is like holding the frame is extremely attractive for the woman so I'd have to point out that there's probably I would say a, a little bit of a difference between when it comes to say matchmaking because matchmaking it's a very controlled environment there's two people who have very um, th their intentions are very clear that they're, they're looking to meet someone so um, it's a little bit different than if you were say at a party or a bar or something like that and, and you had some interaction and there was some woman that was there who was much younger than what uh, you were and she was to give you some shit tests like you know the classic uh, like how old are you uh, it's, it's a little bit different but my advice is that you know if you're centered you're grounded you should be able to you should be able to blow this off because it doesn't matter to you right you know what you you're you're an established you are. yeah you're established you know what you've achieved in life you don't really care what like some woman is that you've never met in your entire life so don't get frazzled by it if a woman actually just says uh, how old are you you say i'm curious as to why you actually need to know that and give her a little cheeky yeah, because there's only one reason one reason people ask people's age isn't because it? she's and interested because she wants to know if you know Number four is assumption of power. What it means? It means that every lady, younger or older, they're always looking for that guidance in the relationship. They're looking for the man to take the leadership role. And I think that we said about this like 100 times in our videos, but this is really very, very important semantic in the relationship. Yeah, and like, and this is something that's gonna come kind of naturally into a, to a woman's psyche. When she meets an older man who's well-established, has proof of concept, more is experience. It, more experience is that he has that assumption of power. So again, it comes from the, the respect uh, aspect that if he's older and he's got his shit together, he should be able to assume uh, power in the relationship. He should have that dominant role in the relationship. Problem with younger guys or younger relationships, closer age gap relationships in the younger bracket, is that the guy can't take that leadership role. It only comes after experience and it comes after time. So it's, it's, uh, it's something that uh, younger women crave in relationships but they can find it, or they assume that they can find it, in a man that is much older. And this, I mean, this can, um, uh, the assumption of power, like obviously uh, when we talk about that, we're talking about uh, the masculine role in a relationship that he is able to lead, make decisions, solve problems, all of the stuff that we talked about before. But I can, you can, this can be demonstrated in so many uh, different ways when you meet a woman for the first time or you're having these uh, earlier on interactions. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree because I saw that many times on the dates, like when uh, I'm a matchmaker and I arrange the dates. So I will give an example like that happened uh, recently. So the lady ordered a cocktail and the cocktail was wrong. Like the uh, waiter was like, I don't know, he made a mistake. And so she was trying not to show that it is wrong, but the guy heard that she ordered like pina colada and they bring mojito, for example. So without any hesitance, he took the glass, he stand up and he, he saw that she is disappointed, but he went to the waiter and said, this is wrong. He assumed that he has this power to take it, grab it and do it. And for the lady, it was like, wow, you know, this man yeah. can like, can can solve anything. This man can do anything. Like, it's really like that uh, knowledge is, I think, that coming to the guy with age. Yeah, and I think that like, it's, it's, um, it, it's that natural assumption and not asking. So, You've told me this story before where he just took it and he said, I need another one. Uh, and he, he wasn't asking for permission. He wasn't asking if he could check it or not. He knew it was wrong. He, uh, he, wanted, to fix it. he wanted to fix it for her. For her, that was extremely attractive. It's a small uh, example, but these examples can be present and found anywhere, whether you're opening the door for a taxi, whether you're you know, going to the shop or doing something, organizing something, you have to go somewhere. You have to take the assumption that you have the power, the leadership role, in that relationship in every aspect that you are doing when you are with this woman but not just with this woman but 
all the time in life. And number five, integrity and ownership. What do you think about that? Mm, this one, I'm going to say is like probably one of the most important uh, points out of this list. So when it comes to integrity, right? So there's two parts, integrity and ownership, but they do tie in together. So integrity, right? And the easiest way I, uh, to explain this is that if you say you're going to do something, then you should go ahead and you should do it. Now, the assumption is, is with older men that they have more integrity and that they have more ownership. You know, they're less likely to talk shit, say, than, say, um, younger guys. Reason for this is that, you know, you have proof of concept, right? You're well established. So when a woman is a younger woman is looking to an older man, she's going to have this natural assumption that you have integrity because without integrity you never would have got to where you are today yes unfortunately i can tell that younger guys uh, because maybe of emotional uh, part maybe because you know less experience they always talk much more and do less than the older man maybe the older man would not actually say that much but he will say and do that and this is very attractive like for the woman yeah and i guess like in terms of like advice uh, we're telling you right now that this is an extremely attractive trait uh, that a man can hold regardless of age if you say you're going to do something go ahead and do it and do not undermine yourself by basically by by talking shit and the other part to this is ownership so no matter what decision you make no matter what you do you have to own this right so the second part to this is ownership right and because uh, older men tend to have more integrity they have proof of concept uh, they are more likely to uh, have the assumption that they take ownership for what they have done, the decisions that they make, whether it's right or wrong. And, you know, if anything, just take this, take this as advice, life advice and relationship advice. If you make a decision, then you own it. Maybe it's a, uh, a decision that goes well, maybe it's a decision that goes bad. But there is nothing more unattractive for a woman when a man takes a victim mentality because some decision that he made, whether it was his fault or it wasn't his fault, he takes his victim mentality and basically he, he plays the victim on this. You know? You need to be confident, confident in what you do, even though sometimes in life we do have hesitation, but a woman doesn't have to see that. She needs to know that she's behind you, that you're your rock. And uh, as you can tell, like these five traces has nothing to do with money, to be honest, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. And like, I mean, let's talk about money then, you know, so uh, money is important. Um, one thing that we see in the comments uh, a lot on our channel and other channels similar to ours is that men quite often say something along the lines of, uh, you know, all the women want is money. Make sure you have a lot of money and you'll, and you'll get a, the woman that you want. This is exactly what I was talking about in the last, in this point just here, this last point, is taking ownership for your own decisions that you've made in life. Saying all the, all the women want is money as if it's their problem. You're a victim of your own uh, doings or misdoings, right? I agree, because I want to say here that like these five traits is like if you would have them, the lady really would not, of course, like it's important, a striker say, to have money, but it's not the most important. Mm. But when you don't have these traits, you try to hide it and try to cover that. Oh, it's because like old ladies are only interested in money. That's mm. why she's not interested in me. No, it's wrong. And this is really like what striker call a victim mentality. It's, it's, it's wrong from the very beginning. Yeah, if you don't have money, and you believe that's the reason why you don't have any, have any woman, go and get some money, take ownership of your decisions in life that made you put you in that position. And if you still don't have woman, maybe there's something else that you have to look at and look at some of these other points here. Because I'm telling you, yes, money is important because money provides stability, right? It, it allows you to provide for you and possibly for her family. She is looking at that, but she's not looking for a man who only drives a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or who lives in a mansion on the, I don't know, the beach in Miami. She's not looking for these things. She's looking for these other points, uh, which is, goes a lot deeper than just money. If it was just money, it would be so easy to get some of the hottest women in the world. I agree, but it's topic for another day. It is. We'll see you later. Bye.